Hey, welcome back, another day, another vlog. How are we all, everyone? Some merch has turned up. New Tigers Media Cup, Cups. Finally got that in, Teespring. Check the link below if you're one of these. Shirts coming shortly, should have been the same time. These guys are quicker. Magic, beautiful. Hook us up, help out the channel, and all those profits will help you get better videos. It may even help me get better. There you go. <laughs> How's your Friday, everyone? Hope you're well. Uh, had a productive night last night. Got the Bell's Rapid video out. Forgive me, some of the low light, obviously it's all pitch black uh, when I went out and did it in January. And I did all the vlogging stuff on the GoPro as I was using the Canon M50 to take the shots. So it's a little bit low light, so it's, it's, it's good. It's, I think it's got that effect. It's, it's, I, was, I didn't mind it because it was that. I just, it's, don't, it's not a super high production value one, but um, yeah, it came up pretty good, I thought. Uh, I did, the two photos in there were probably the best. They were two, my two um, compositions I looked at and they come up really good. I put one up on the Instagram today, the first one. I'll chuck the other one up tomorrow. Uh, a little bit something different from the bushwalk ones because I've got a heap of those still left, uh, but I thought I'd break it up a bit. Uh, but yeah, that come up good. And there's going to be more of that because I've got some more Astro stuff as well to put in from the other night, which come up good. So I'll get that out soon. But yeah, very happy with how it turned out. Um, I said, it's just that low light. It's hard to film it at night, like if, especially driving. You've got it set up on auto so you can just drive and normally just talk. Uh, you obviously can't have big massive bright lights in the car, so yeah, please forgive me for that. And then obviously when out in the bush, I had the biggest 3000 lumen torch. Um, that was helping out a fair bit, but obviously you, it's hard to get sort of good light on you without blowing it out. And there's a couple of spots, there's nothing I could do. I tried fixing, but yeah, I'm sure you'll get it. it I think you'll forgive me when you see what's the video about. It's about sort of me learning and understanding and, and trying to get the shot. And I think I got there. So I'm pretty happy with it, how it ended up anyway. So that's up there live. Go check it out. Um, I've added a new playlist in there too to the channel, which is photo journey. So it's just going to be purely photography stuff. So if you're not into the vlogs or anything, you just want to go and check out all the photo ones I've done. I've started adding a few in there. I'll go back through them and start adding them through just to try and break them up. So if you're in there on the channel looking for something to find, well then it's easy just to, I think it's a lot of, I know it's easy if I go to someone's channel to go to look for something that I have a good playlist. So I'm trying to get them better for you as well. Um, let me know if there's anything I can do to make that better, to make it easier if I've missed something or got something wrong, uh, let me know. Uh, while I'm on, also on that, I'll, we'll, I've got to change the drop down list on the bottom with all the stuff and details. Uh, the PO box, I'm getting rid of that at the end of this month, that finishes. So if you were going to send anything, please don't send anything to that. Just contact us by email and we'll work out something. Um, as we're obviously going to be in the throes of moving house and stuff like that. So. Yeah, well, it's no use sending there because I'm going to cancel. It's no use me having it for another year when we're going to be, I'll wait till we get to wherever we're going to be and we can work something out then. Um, but yeah, so no worries. Just wanted to do, let you know, but I'll also, I've put notes in the last couple of videos, but I'll make sure I add it and change it all in the setup one. So just thought I'd let you know. Hey, yeah, uh, went shopping today as well. A uh, bit of shopping day today while Jack's at school. It's the only day of school a week now. I've taken home to look after him the other days. It's my sort of one day off. Went shopping and it was pretty cool. Oh, not cool, it's, it's a bit embarrassing as an Australian. Uh, you, you sort of hear about all the toilet paper crisis and all that, and then you go to the shops and go, you're freaking kidding, man, we need toilet paper. And these dickheads have gone and just absolutely tore shreds out of the shelves of the toilet paper. What do I have? There's toilet paper, hand towel, eggs. I mean, eggs only last a week or so anyway, so what are you, what are you going to stockpile them for? <laughs> They're only going to be good for a week, so unless the apocalypse happens in the next week, your yeah, eggs are pretty much going to be useless, but there was pretty much like four packets of eggs left on the shelf of the Coles. Um, and that was about it. Oh, pasta. 
the spaghetti, the pasta, all that, but none of the sauces. None of the mince or the pork, plenty of meat in there. They just got the pasta. I don't know, you're just gonna sit and eat pasta on the boil water and then eat the pasta dry? <laughs> I don't know, very, very, very surreal and weird atmosphere to see that. And just, and like you can understand if everything was gone, but nah, it's just like toilet paper, hand towel, Oh, disinfectant sprays. Glen 20, there was Glen 20 left because they've put that, Coles has put that up to eight bucks. It was normally about four bucks to five bucks. Now it's $8. They've all jacked their prices on disinfectant. Smart, very smarter than them. Um, but all the home brand Coles one sold out. So di disinfectant toilet sprays. Man, if, if the coronavirus apparently, according to Australians, is comes out of the toilet and bites you on the butt, to infect you. I think that's what we're all scared of. Very, very funny. Well, it's not funny, but it is sort of, it's hard not to laugh. Um, and f moving on with COVID-19, it's spread ever more. Uh, 80 countries, 3,000 plus deaths. Another ship in America off the California coast, uh, people infected, one, I think one person possibly passed away on that. So if, look, it's, Basically, health authorities in Australia have come out and said, we're not gonna be able to contain it. Those days are well and truly done. Uh, we're gonna to have to manage it, work it out, and that's basically clean your hands. The stuff that you should be doing anyway, clean your hands after doing something dirty or whatever, cleaning up after yourself, all that, I guess at the moment, stay away from large gatherings because there's more, obviously the percentages increase. We're, Reduce your percentage of chance of getting infected and it's gonna be a good thing, so. Um, Italy gets, it's obviously blown out a fair bit uh, to the point they're holding their Serie A soccer matches, but no spectators allowed in. They've gone through and sprayed them in some sort of chemical. So I'm assuming some sort of disinfectant to all across the stadium and then the players are getting bust in. They play the game, it's all recorded live, obviously, because the money involved. The players get back on the bus, go back to the hotels, and no one sees them. It's, yeah. That, again, that's a pretty weird, and, but still, no one's talking about uh, the vaccine that, has, that is currently in the process of going to human trials through um, oh, Moderna, the company Moderna, who created the vaccine, he said they've got a vaccine for it, it's going to human trials, it's going at the end of this month, it goes to starts human trials. Uh, that takes possibly five months and then you've got to bulk manufacture it to get it out to everyone. Uh, still no one in the news or the government's mentioning this. Uh, I think it's, if Moderna's, that, Moderna's share price has gone up by $15 a share, so Look, if, unless they're just lying through the teeth or it's just a, a, f a false hope, um, I'm not sure, maybe that's why they're not saying anything, but I think that people need, the governments and that need to start thinking, well, hey, we have got people doing stuff. There is things in the pipeline, but it takes time. This is not crazy, everyone in the world's gonna die sort of stuff. We have got stuff in process, just, it's gonna take time. We need to just calm, calm the down. That's a polite way of saying it, without saying it, I guess. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, yeah, very weird. Um, but yeah, going to the shops was super, super surreal. Very different. Anyway, um, so yeah, obviously, we've had a couple of deaths in Australia too. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's pretty much everywhere and done everything. So just, I guess, like in everything in life, be smart, don't do anything that would exacerbate your chances of getting infected with this virus. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a weird one. So hopefully the Moderna's vaccine gets all, all tickety-boo and no dramas. By July, we should have something just getting pumped out. Because if it, once it passes the trials, and I'm sure it's getting fast-tracked and getting uh, pushed through as hard as possible, uh, if, if that comes through with flying colours and it's good to go, mate, you're gonna see some super mega sales of this stuff. It's gonna be like selling pink diamonds to everyone on the planet. They will, everyone will be buying it. Governments will be just funding it left, right and centre. 
they are going to make a packet out of it. Um, so good luck to them. Uh, that's that's obviously what they're in it to do. That's their business. But um, then it should smash it on the head. So just got to be patient, I guess. It's it's hard. It can be scary and a bit frustrating. Um, but yeah, just do what you can. Now uh, the only other thing, there wasn't much else. Not much. Not many tech reviews and stuff like that out today. Nothing new. We seem to be a little. We've had that big rush. Uh, in February, we are just a ton of stuff every day. It was just pumping through, rolling and rolling and rolling. And now we sort of hit that little, little bit of a flat spot. End of March, we're gonna see the Apple events and stuff like that. So it won't be long before we get that, but we're getting a little bits and pieces. Uh, I did watch an interesting one on Unbox Therapy, which was pretty cool, I thought. Uh, if you're a mad toast person for the breakfast, I don't eat breakfast, I just have me OJ or you know, maybe occasionally a hot cross bun. That's about my sort of length of breakfast. But um, the Mitsubishi electric bread oven, 380 US dollars. Um, the elite, the elite of bread ovens only does one slice at a time, but it seals in all the flavor in the bread. That won't let it dry out, perfectly cooks it to whatever level you want and it actually makes a difference. The boys were super impressed about what it could do for the bread. Uh, so very cool. If you, as again, if you uh, um, love your toast and it's your thing, well, and you're looking for that someone that needs to buy something for someone that has everything, and they're mad, they love their Vegemite on toast first thing in the morning with a cup of tea, and that's what keeps them happy out in the porch, watching the hills or watching the mountains or whatever. Go check this out, the Mitsubishi electric bread oven, the TOST1 retro cooker. And yeah, looks, looks like a little square. It looks like a Apple TV, a large Apple TV or a, or a modem or something like that. Little brown thing, lit up, slot your thing in, fully digital and the best bit of toast you'll ever had. Anyway, that's it for me today and this week. I, we got our first major home open Sunday was supposed to have one today, but the uh, one the buyer that actually wanted to look at it was crook as a dog, and so they had to pull out last minute. We found out this morning, which was no fun. So we'll do it all over again for Sunday and get ready for that. Hopefully, have a heap of people turn up and a lot of interest. See how we go. Fingers crossed. If not, I'll let you know all about it Monday and when we start the new week. Don't forget merch below, coffee mug, shirts, t-shirts, everything you could ever want. All of it goes to a good cause to keep this channel up to date and grooving. And we'll see you all next week. Have a great weekend. Stay safe. Look after your mates. Tell your family you love them. And we'll see you all soon. Whether you're out in the town tonight, hitting the hay after a big week, or flying to China. I doubt you will be, but if you are, have a great weekend. And we'll see you soon. Cheers. <laughs>